Hey YouTube, this is a video tutorial on how to download free games onto your PSP and this is using tools on a Macintosh because what I had to do in the past was use Windows here and use WinRAR to extract the RER or zip files that came with the ISOs and no longer do I have to do that because I found another way to do it on a Mac. I mean Mac has its own its own software that extracts zip files and RAR files but they're not as efficient and as convenient as the one I'm going to show you today. So what you need to do first is download the ISO of the game you want and in order to do this you need to be running on PSP custom firmware. I'm running on 5.50 Generation D, and yeah, so the website I go to find my um, ISOs is PSPISOs.com. That's PSPISOZ.com. And basically, what you want to do is go to where it says downloads, and all you do is type in the name of the ISO or game you want. Like recently, I um, downloaded SOCOM, so search for SOCOM, and it gives you a list, and this is the demo, so we don't want that. This is Japan, Japanese, we don't want that either, and oh look, USA, so yeah, you click the link, and it should open to a new tab, and you just download the file slow download I already downloaded it so I'm not going to download it again and once that's finished downloading or at the same time click the second link and also download that now once you downloaded those things those files you need to locate them I already have them downloaded and it's in this folder here and what I'm going to do is just bring these to my desktop to make life easier. Now, the place I downloaded my um, ISOs from was different from PSP ISOs. That's why it's three parts instead of, instead of two. So don't feel confused if, yeah, whatever. Anyway, now, okay, so the next thing you need to do is go to a place called stuffit.com and they I like the software they use it's very efficient and it kind of resembles almost WinRAR for Mac so you go to downloads stuffit expander you want to download the expander because that's the free one I mean you can help the economy and buy the deluxe Mac version but who needs that so yeah, stuff it expander, it's always free. And just um you have to put your email address, you know, so they can send you the spam mail. So you just use yeah, whatever. And then download stuff it. You can choose with trial or expander only, doesn't matter. Expander will always be free. Nice. Once you've downloaded that, just click the first file which is SOCOM, US, Navy, whatever, whatever. So I'm going to click that, and Expander opens up here, and it extracts the first RER file to my desktop in this folder here. And that's the ISO there, as you can see. 154.1 megabytes. And you basically just wait for that to download. okay as you can see it's already finished and it's different because WinRAR would actually you know to locate the second part of the file and the third part and WinRAR is just that smart and it just finds anything with the same name on the same location and it just extracts all and puts it into one ISO here as you can see and yeah it's basically all you have to do for the ISO merging and I don't know what this is here, it's just a disk. Um, I think it's an update. Uh, 
I'm not too sure what that is. I'll look at that later. But here's the I um here's the ISO. And yeah, so you can delete these files if you want. But what you do now is plug in your PSP. Yeah, just plug in mine. Wait for it to load up. And go to USB mode. Okay, don't mind this. This is just for me because I have Windows running. Connect to Mac. Right? And no name. I'm pretty sure I named this. Oh crap, iPhoto. Hate this. Nice. Alright. So open up your PSP. Oh, and have if you haven't already. In the root of your PSP folder, I mean, in the root of your PSP, create a folder called ISO. It's really easy, just new folder, ISO. I already have one created, so I'm not going to make another one. Yeah, just delete that. And ISO, I already have Little Big Planet installed, and that's a CSO. And now all you do is drag the ISO into the ISO folder. And you wait <laughs> for it to you know copy that's five minutes it's quite a while so now we wait and also if you're downloading ISOs and CSOs you're gonna want to get a pretty large memory stick um probably four gigabytes the least I would say for more than one game um I currently have four uh, but I also have another one that's eight gigabytes so, yeah, just don't get, like, 512 megabytes if you're planning on downloading an ISO. It's not going to be convenient for you. Yeah, so now we just wait for four more minutes. All right, we're done here. And that's basically all you have to do on the computer. From here, it's you're actually really done. It's the whole process. And sorry I didn't say this before, but... If you just got a memory stick, like an 8 gigabyte memory stick, and you're planning on, you know, downloading ISOs and putting it on your memory stick, I, I um, recommend that once you put in your memory stick, you go to system settings, and you format your memory stick so that your PSP creates all your necessary folders, like ISO and the SE plugins and all that. And... It only show these folders if you have it on custom firmware. Again, you need custom firmware, and if you just use regular, um, standard firmware, it's just gonna format you with the regular folders and not with the custom firmware folders. Yeah, but basically that's all you have to do on the computer. And so just eject your PSP and go to your games and launch the game, which I'm gonna show you right now. Okay, so after you've done that, what you do is turn on your PSP. And from there, you go to game, and you go to memory stick. Sorry for the bad quality. And there is SOCOM, Fireteam Bravo 3, with the Little Big Planet. That I also installed. And it says, just go ahead and launch that. And that's basically it. Just play it. And thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.